We're here in Santa Monica on the 3rd Street Promenade at Polestar's pop-up location. Now that the Polestar 2 is in production, they're opening up pop-up shops and Polestar spaces around the globe. Let's go inside and check it out. Polestar vehicles will not be sold alongside other brands. They can be seen, driven, and purchased at pop-up and permanent Polestar spaces. Throughout the rest of the world, this will be a factory direct sales model with non-commissioned product specialists offering brand and product education. Here in the US, the model is technically franchise sales, but it's meant to offer an experience which closely resembles buying direct. Now the Polestar 2 might look a little familiar to you guys, and that's because this design first appeared in 2016 as the Volvo 40.2 concept. Polestar began as a racing team and eventually became an engineering division of Volvo. Today, it has become a standalone avant-garde performance EV manufacturer. Polestar is owned by Volvo Group and Chinese auto and mobility giant Geely. Geely may not sound familiar, but they have stakes in a lot of familiar brands, including Smart, Daimler, the London Electric Vehicle Company, Terrafusia, Lotus, and many more. Geely sold over 2 million cars globally in 2019. Polestar 2 is an all-electric, five-door fastback based on the compact modular architecture platform, which is shared with Volvo's XC40 Recharge and other Geely-owned models. It's roughly the size of a BMW 3 Series, but it clearly stands out as a reflection of its Swedish heritage with its styling. And you can tell this is Scandinavian design. Pure, progressive performance. Very minimalistic, simple, elegant, and clean lines. Polestar vehicles are built to order. They can be purchased, leased, and are also available by subscription. Customers can take delivery at home or at a Polestar space. When it comes to service, they offer pickup and delivery. The work is physically performed at a nearby Volvo facility. Polestar 2 is initially offered as a launch edition, which is nearly fully loaded with limited packaging options like the Performance Pack. Now when you see the Swedish Gold Brembo brakes, valve caps, and those yellow seat belts on the inside, you know this is a Performance Pack. What is the Performance Pack? The Performance Pack does not provide a faster 0-60 to 60 time or additional range, but it's specifically tuned to give you a more refined suspension and keep you planted, as well as deliver a more aggressive response and braking power. Aesthetically, it's also just a nice pop of color. Now, as you can see, this is a fastback design, so you have a ton of cargo space, but also a lot easier entry inside when you're moving things in. Roof racks are optional, as is a tow bar, which can handle a 2,000 pound trailer and provide a lot more utility if needed. Now this is a particularly special moment for me because I spent most of 2019 and the early parts of 2020 with the Polestar 2 prototype. And this will be my first time driving a full production model of the Polestar 2. It is an absolutely beautiful day and we're driving on the Pacific Coast Highway, which is such a perfect road for this Polestar 2. Let's talk about specifications. The Polestar 2 I'm driving delivers 408 horsepower and 487 pound-feet of torque from a pair of 150 kilowatt motors, which makes it all-wheel drive. It will hit zero to 62 miles per hour in 4.7 seconds. Its 78 kilowatt hour battery provides an EPA range of 233 miles. It also qualifies for the $7,500 federal tax incentive and possible state incentives. Polestar 2 covers all the bases inside, offering vegan weave tech interior as standard or optional genuine leather. Seats are heated and with the leather option, they're also ventilated. The steering wheel is heated too. I personally like to sit a little bit closer to the steering wheel, but this has plenty more room to move it all the way back and down to give me quite a bit of headroom. And I'm 5'11", so I'm pretty tall, and this is very comfortable. The seats also have a nice contour to them and give you a little bit more of a hug. So it feels sporty, but still you have that comfort factor. The thing I really like about this Weave Tech interior is that it's very durable and you can feel that it wipes clean very easily. The build quality is very good. 
the materials and layout are modern without feeling foreign. It feels balanced, sporty, and very in control with the torque vectoring kicking in around the corners. It's quite responsive on the throttle, and the driving position makes me feel secure since I have a little more ground clearance under me than a typical sedan. Polestar 2 is designed around performance and handling like its namesake. All-wheel drive and torque vectoring are standard. This diminishes the sense of its 4,680-pound curb weight. I can confidently say it's a better driving experience than a BMW when it comes to handling and quickness. I would love to get this out on the track one day. It does what I tell it to do, and how can you not like that? Now, if you haven't driven an EV before, you might not be familiar with one pedal driving. One pedal driving is that feeling when you take your foot off of the accelerator and the car feels like it's slowing itself down, almost like it's braking for you. But what's really happening with one pedal driving is the kinetic energy from the wheel spinning is being recaptured to recharge the battery. Right now, I'm driving in the standard one pedal drive and it's pretty aggressive. You can adjust it to turn it off or go to a lower setting if you'd like, but with my experience with EVs, I love to have it on the maximum setting because it gives me the most energy back into the battery. The one thing I absolutely love about this instrument cluster is that there's three different screens that you can choose from. The one I have in front of me right now is a map-centric mode. So that means the map that you see on the center screen is also displayed a little bit more zoomed in on the instrument cluster. This button here on the steering wheel will allow me to switch through three different menus on the instrument cluster in front of me. One is more of a simple display that has your range, speed, percentage of charge. The next screen is a split screen which has a graphic of your Polestar 2 right in the center of it. And then the third screen is that map centric mode which has the navigation right in front of you. You don't have to look over at the center stack every single time. This Android infotainment is my favorite feature on the Polestar 2. It is user friendly, simplistic, and can be controlled reliably with voice commands. I personally use a Pixel phone, so I'm all about the Google Sphere. I can sync my Google account to have seamless integration of my daily notifications for my messaging and have it read and deliver text messages for me while I drive. Oh, and for Apple users, it will support CarPlay starting mid-2021. The 360-degree overhead and backup camera views are clear with great visibility. They automatically display at low speeds and let me select a particular angle to view if I'm close to anything while parking. Back when I was working with the prototype, a lot of guests would ask me about this huge panoramic sunroof and whether or not it could block out the sun completely since it doesn't have a shade. And I will say, it's been hot and sunny all day today and no problem at all for us. Now we're headed to a charging station to plug this guy in and give it a little bit of juice. The Polestar 2 has an 11 kilowatt onboard AC charger and supports 150 kilowatt DC fast charging speeds. According to their website, you can gain 80% range, about 186 miles, in 40 minutes using the fastest available public stations. So when EV makers don't have their own dedicated infrastructure, it's really challenging because you have to rely on services like Google to keep updated, but it isn't always accurate. For this segment, I wanted to witness the 150 kilowatt fast charging. I use the onboard Google Maps charging station search feature to find nearby locations. Find charging stations nearby. Charge point charging station on Civic Center Way is zero miles away. Should I make that your destination? Unfortunately, the listing did not accurately display some critical information. The system directed me to stations on private property, which I could not access, including corporate and residential structures. It did not include information about the cost of charging or if a fee was required to enter the property where the station was located. The system didn't accurately display availability either. It sent me to stations which were full or broken. I finally found a charging station. After five consecutive stops, I gave up the search with no success. It stopped charging. Wow. Okay. I may have had better luck with a mobile app like PlugShare or a better route planner. 
the truth is, the fractured public charging infrastructure could use improvement. This is not Polestar's fault, but Polestar owners who travel out of town will be subject to the shortcomings. I configured a Polestar 2 online and the price was over $73,000 before incentives. That seems a bit high to compete with comparably sized alternatives in the premium luxury class. Hopefully, the upcoming Polestar variants will be more in line. The range of 233 miles is more than enough for local daily driving. Still, the battery capacity is not yet close to leading in the class. However, I do believe that eventually Geely will achieve the kind of battery volume required to move Polestar up the ranks. Now, if you're looking for a sporty, nimble electric vehicle, this is it. Overall, the Polestar 2 is an exceptional car. The brand has all the right ingredients for real success. The build quality is top-notch and the robust infotainment system is the most responsive and intuitive I've used. Although a personal preference, I do think the design has great proportions and I appreciate the sharp, edgy lines that carry through from the front all the way to the back of the car. I would consider it the best looking EV on the market next to Porsche's Taycan. Polestar has a lot of exciting products coming including the Polestar 3 SUV and recently confirmed Precept. Stay tuned to see more of those here by subscribing to Misco Electric.